That was actually Robin Zander. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. I'm and not Max Norman. Go. Oh my! <laughs> Man, that guy's produced some records. The thing about Max Norman records is that it doesn't matter how old they are, they still sound great. They don't sound dated. They always sound great and uh, very deserving for Max. All right, we've got one last piece of business to take care of for the Hall of Heavy Metal History 2019. And this is a very special moment. I first met Mr. Lee Kerslake earlier today when he was on my radio show. And uh, what a wonderful man. We had a wonderful conversation and uh, what a total gentleman and so many great stories. And he made his way here from London to be here for this event tonight. So we have certainly saved uh, a true icon for last. And to talk a little bit about Mr. Curse Lake and induct him into the Hall of Heavy Metal History, the man who runs this entire thing, Mr. Pat Gesualdo. Pat, come on up here. He's going to say a few words and, uh, and then get Lee up to wrap up the evening. So, Pat, the stage is yours, my friend. So, yeah, this is very special. This is a very long time in the making for the Curse Lake. And, uh, you know, I am so honored to play a, a pivotal role in this. Um, you know, this is something that Lee has waited for his whole life. And the whole thing really started, as many of you know, as the world knows, with our good friend over here, Jimmy K. And it all started with an interview on the Metal Voice with Jimmy. And when Lee had told the world, of a certain issues, health issues. I felt compelled to do something about this. I know one of his bucket list items was to get the gold and platinum albums and the platinum albums from Sharon and Ozzy Osbourne. So after Jimmy's interview, I decided to try to take matters into my own hands uh, for Lee. Lee, you're awesome and I'm a big fan, my friend. And so I knew how long it was to make it, 38 years. So I put some things in motion, and Sharon and Ozzy, we had a conversation, and they were so gracious in order to make this move forward for our dear friend Lee. And uh, Lee, why don't you come up? Here he is. Here are your platinum albums from Blizzard of Oz and Diary of a Madman. Congratulations, my friend. And one other very special thing. This is from Ozzy directly. Here it is. So it says, Lee, I really hope you enjoy the discs. It seems such a long time since I've seen you. It must be at least 35 years or more. My, how time flies when you're having fun. I'm so happy, I'm so sorry to hear that you're not doing so well with your health right now. I myself am getting ready to go on tour yet again. It seems years that it stops, but again, it's what we do for our life. Anyway, God bless and stay safe. Always Ozzy. So Lee, congratulations, my friend. Here you go, buddy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, I got a few people I want to thank here. I just <laughs> see. Uh, I might be a bit of time. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, I got to thank Pat, who's treated me like a god, and I, I don't deserve that. I, I'm just so proud to be here and to receive this honor, especially these two as well. But Pat, Pat's been treating me so well, looked after me. And Eddie, he's been great. Ace, bless you. Adam, bless you. Everybody that's involved with it have looked after me. And I treasure you all. You're fabulous. And all I want to say is, long live rock and roll. Thank you.
God bless you all. God bless. Oh, no, no, I got more something else. Hey, it's Christmas. We love you, I love you too. Oh, that sounded like Michael Jackson, didn't it? Didn't it? Um, this is a great honor, you know. I know they say it's things come when you wait and be patient. And I'm not a patient man, that's why I'm very impatient at times. But this was worth every year of wait to get this and those records. It does pay to be patient and it ends up in your favor. So, once again, thank you ever so much for listening to this old idiot. Harp on and pleasure. Cheers. Goodbye. <laughs>